Nosebleeds can be scary for a child. They are common, but if they're not treated properly, they could become a medical problem. Dr. Kim Giuliano is a pediatrician at Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital. She says if your child's nose begins bleeding, the first thing to do is get them upright. Have the child either sit um, down or stand with their head bent forward slightly. You don't want to tip the head back. Then the blood drains down um, into the throat, can cause choking, ends up in their stomach and causes some discomfort. So it's better to put the head forward. Dr. Giuliano says to avoid stuffing tissues or napkins in the nose. She says it may absorb some of the blood, but it could irritate the lining of the nose and cause the bleeding to restart when it's removed. Instead, apply pressure to the front, soft part of the nose, not up by the bridge because the blood vessels are located near the nostrils. Dr. Giuliano says to keep constant pressure for at least 10 minutes before checking to see if the bleeding has stopped. If you're taking your hand and the pressure off more frequently, it's going to take longer for the bleeding to stop. So check out about 10 minute intervals. At the 20 minute mark, if the bleeding is still continuing, then you need to contact your child's pediatrician. Dr. Giuliano says it's also important not to panic. She says if your child is crying, it could take longer to stop the bleeding.